Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Welcome, welcome. It is morning for myself over here, East Coast, North America. Morning ish, 10 a.m. We are building up good old Jemiah right now. I don't necessarily plan on using him a ton today. Um, just kind of wanted to get him roomed up. He needs HP defense and attack speed. Guess I'm not going to do rage. I don't know. I was thinking I have him a little bit of damage, but I think I just need to focus on the tankiness. I could do defense. I need one more energy rune, though. What's this one got? Attack speed, HP attack. Uh, what's this Twitch drop mean? Um, basically, if you watch the stream on Twitch and you have your Twitch connected to your game account, you can get like little drops. There should be like a little button to go see the rest of it. Uh, or go see all the rewards you can get. I actually just received, uh, I think I just received some rewards here. Uh, should be soon, I guess. Yeah, uh, it's just a typical dr Twitch drops thing when you have your game account. Um, you know, lots of games do it. it. It's a way for them to, like, get, you know, their content creators to have a little bit more views and stuff. You know, because people want rewards. So. They're never, like, crazy good. Uh, but, you know, sometimes, sometimes they're good. I remember back in the day, I was watching Overwatch at Deeches and Bitch, and uh, you could actually watch Overwatch and get a special currency that you could buy, like, certain skins with that currency. Yeah, I'm not the... Uh... I'm not the expert on all the Twitch stuff. Okay. Oh wait, no, that's that's my dailies. All right, let's get all good old free mystical summon to start the uh, start the day off. Yeah. Nope. Okay, let's finish that off. I don't have any skills on him yet. Oh, I can make... Yeah, Varad, I can only get to 813. I have him uh, soul connected right now. That's what he's looking right right now. I got him on a damage build at the moment. Um, I, I should... I know Despair is probably the best build because he is AoE, AoE, AoE. And honestly, Genos is too, but Genos is also on a damage build, and he's done very well for me as well. It's kind of hard. Despair is a tough one. Despair is a tough one to rune. Um. Okay, let's do main property. See, what's nice about Jamira is since he can't be CC'd, it's pretty good. Uh, let's see here. Good defense. Now let's go HP attack speed. That's all I got for that. Okay. Much runes. And I got nothing. Holy moly. 
Where's all my energy runes? Nope. Oh. Wow, trash, 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 trash. So much trash. Um. Yeah, that's the Juno rune. Honestly, that might have to stay as attack. I did get a couple rolls into attack speed, though. That's pretty solid. Love this one. Eh. So he can't be CC'd, which makes him, like... Like, I don't feel like he has to be as tanky because he can continue to heal no matter what, right? He can keep doing his basic attack and keep healing. And then, let's see. As far as artifacts go. Are there literally only two of these? Like, grant the shield to revive? No. There's literally only, like, two of these? Like, where's the rest of our... I need more support options. Because, like, some supports don't do stackable beneficial effects, and then most supports don't revive. Is there a third one that I'm just missing and I don't have? We're gonna need some more uh more rune pieces. You know what I get rune pieces from? Exchange Center. Ah, they're not there. So I need to go sell some. This is where I buy all mine. So I don't auto farm enough. All right, we got 300 crystals. Fairy. So daily quest, um, path of growth, and repeat quest. Oh, is this the Ruku one? Oops, I'm doing the Ruku one. I almost got the legendary. I just like to get these out of the way. I got the rest of my my day is kind of busy, so I don't want to miss out on that misty scroll. There we go. Lucky bingo is still going on. I'm gonna have to dump some more. What do we got? One day left. Yeah, I'm gonna have to dump all this energy into more Kairos. I've done so much Kairos farming. I have so much essence. This bingo event has been so great. So much breath of life. Um, so much crystals to get back. Rune pieces aren't bad. You know, gold pieces. It's been a great one. So I've just been dumping it all of my energy into uh, 
Kairos. Just do two of these real quick. It's two or is it three? I forget. We'll just do three. Ooh, yay. Got Breath of Soul. All right. Got all three fairies. Ten more Misties. Oops. Ten thousand of those. What do we got to get to day? Th we got thirty days. Yep, there it is. Dark Fairy Queen. She's not even in the book yet. The to know what she does. Already got that done. Okay. We are definitely going to be doing some PvP today. For sure. Let me swap over to Kina real quick and dump some energy into Kairos. Shall we go together? She's almost level 80. Probably be level 80 here. Um, yeah, they're in dungeons. Do that one. And then let's go to Florence real quick. Since we're going to dump a bunch of energy into Kairos, you might as well get the, uh, the little boosts, the little XP boost, both the potion and the Florence one. I normally don't care that much, but if I'm going to dump a bunch of energy, I might as well. No oh, S ones? Dang. Are there any um ham sandwich? We can cook that real quick, yeah. I either want the fast ones or the ones I don't have to think about. Oh well, we'll have to go back to those. Okay. Um, I should go Kairos, and let's stop. Oh, I gotta do Illusion Garden, too. Good old crow. So I want to try to put, typically, a monster that I need leveled. If I have any. Yeah, like, she needs to be leveled. I just kind of do that. You know, Kino almost there. What's up, Jonathan? How you doing, man? Let's use up the rest of my quick my tickets there. Uh, let's use up some crystals because we're gonna get crystals back from the uh the bingo event. So I got. Look how many of these I have. I just used a ton, too. I got over 10,000 of those. 5,000, 4,000. Maybe I should do some wind and light and dark. Yeah, we'll do some light, actually. I never really need that many. We'll do some. Swap over and do some wind. I 
think she's done. Kind of lost. Yeah, I really need to make a new guide, sort of like a beginner's guide, Jonathan, or like a coming back guide. Um, Barcode also did come back, so he's a content machine. So um, he's also a good one to watch for some like uh, guides on what to do, especially for those that were kind of like had started already and are coming back to it. Um, but is that what are you on right now? Like, what's your what piece of content are you attempting to clear? That's typically what it is. Is like you want to. You, as soon as you can clear all the content, that's when you can start worrying about, you know, PvP and stuff. Um, let's do one more. Those big beginner guides are always just so much, a lot, a lot to put together. But I need to, though. Okay, so Kina is level 80 now. That's good. Uh, summer's gear? What, uh, what summon are you working on? I'll tell you exactly what to do. Listen to Papa Tover. Uh, since the beginning of the game, good. It's my boy, Chad Cleef. All right. I'm going to switch back over to Cleef. What, uh, what gear do you currently have? Okay. Okay. So you have the foggy prison one. Let me go to blacksmithing. So again, the way these work is it's the way you call it. All right, the way you name these things is this is would be one, two, three, four, five stars. This would be five stars, one awaken. So you could say five star, one A. That's typically what people say. Uh, and then you get up here to six star and then six star, two A and then six star, three A. And then this final one, this yellow one is mythic. So where are you at in the uh, in the line with your with your gear? Six star two. Oh, and then you're you're pretty deep in there. There is. How about your accessories? Are your accessories? Is that your accessories? Um, I'll be right here. Six star two A with weapons. Okay, accessories are typically the more important one to think about. Increasing summoner defense. This is solid. So the the foggy prison buff was solid. But as you well know, nice, nice. Okay, so everything's two A. But as you well know, Mythic Gear is where it's at now. I would not suggest doing the level up to the next Mythic Gear here, where it says Furious Memory Necklace. It's good. It's it's fine. But there's a real massive benefit that you're not getting from doing the hero raids, right? Um, and getting the drop from those. Now, you're, we're in a weird little spot right now with hero raids because we're about to be getting a new set. So I'll show you what that means. So right now we have hero raids. Um, hero raids are the next evolution of raids. Um, they rotate every week to a new a new raid. Uh, they're essentially just a bigger, better, harder version. And they drop right now. They drop the Sun Legacy set, okay, of accessories, and they also drop the Moon Legacy set. As a cleave, I would suggest Moon Legacy set. Honestly, a lot of people were getting away with the Sun Legacy set as well because Root was really, really strong. But now that we have Jemire, not so much. I would still go with the Moon Legacy set. Um, even in about, was it two weeks, guys? We're getting the new Mythic gear. We're getting a new set of hero raids, okay? And they're going to come with 
a new set of mythic accessories. It is yet to be seen whether they're going to be better or not. There is one that heals off destroy damage, which is pretty strong. So you might see a lot of people making a switch for that, but you can't go wrong with a moon legacy set right here. Um, as a cleave main, it's, it's totally fine. What this does is it gives you um, increased mana regen speed of 5%. Um, obviously, it decreases your damage taken. That's every, every set. Um, but also you see the, the purple where it says hero set effect. That is the 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 bonus you get for a season and seasons are pretty long. We're coming to the end of the season right now. I think it's like three months or so applies immunity to the team numbers for eight seconds. Five plus three seconds for the season bonus at the start of the battle. So basically you have immunity at the start of the battle for eight seconds, which is really, really strong. Yeah, TJ, it is. We got to I got to go help out my mom later on today. So. So after this season ends in 12 days, Jonathan, this will turn into a five second immunity, which is still pretty good, but not as good as if it were in season. Right. So I know you're at a weird spot with farming right now, like the timing. We got about two weeks left of this set. But even if you do want to farm hero raids, you can totally farm hero raids and be fine um, getting this moon set. Um, and then as far as uh, weapons go, um, personally, as a cleave, I went with the Twisted Marsh weapon set uh, for Mythic. So essentially, this is a blacksmithing thing. So you head over to um, your blacksmithing. Obviously, you got to get your blacksmithing all the way up if you haven't. Um, and you want to come down here to the Twisted Marsh section, and you can see that you can take your Twisted Marsh weapon uh, from 3A, right, 6-star 3A, to Mythic. Um, I would say it's okay to craft the moon one. I would say, though, in, in the two weeks of farming, depending on how much farming you do, you might not even get your full set. Um, I remember it took me 60 runs. 60 runs of hero raid and they're not they're not easy especially when they first came out uh, it took me 60 runs to get every piece that i needed with the right main stat so for cleave you're looking for defense crit damage defense right um let me show you my my gear here so like earrings always come as flat defense they always come that way these can come as crit rate hp so i want to crit damage of course and then i wanted defense and defense so i spent uh, like a week and a half farming, looking for these three main stats for Cleef. And then now, more recently, we have weapon sets. And these aren't going to change as much based off of the season. Um, but basically, you now have a weapon set. So a Twisted Marsh weapon set is going to give you increased um, uh, ultimate gain. Which, compared to some of the other ones, as a Cleef or a Kina main or something like that, Ultimate Gain was just way more useful for me than um, any any other of the set effects from the other the other weapon types. But I would say, yeah, I would begin farming um, and then check back in once you have your full set of Moon Gear. And we can kind of get a better idea of what the new sets are going to be and whether or not it's useful or not. The other thing that you need to be farming... Um, is seal. So make sure you have, you're doing your seals every week. Um, seal is incredibly good. And I need to make a, a remake a video on this ruin temple seal. It now drops six star weapons. Um, I don't know if you watched cause you're at the point in the game right now where you should be thinking about plus 15 in your gear. I made a video a couple months back that was plus 15 in your gear, the easy way. Um, Seal now drops six star weapons, which makes that whole process a little bit, quite a bit easier and cheaper. So what you want to do is farm seal and you're, what you're doing is you're looking for equipment drops that are high substats. So you have twisted marsh weapons and accessories from foggy. No, my accessories are moon. Uh, I, all accessories should be a, a set. At your point in the game, I think all your accessories should be one of the mythic sets. Um, like the ones that drop from Hero Raid. XYNAM, thanks for following. I appreciate it. Over on Twitch. 
Does that make sense? So like all of your um, accessories, uh, they're going to come from the hero raids. So accessories are kind of separate and then weapon sub weapon is their own thing. Nice, Jonathan. Yeah, so that same method still applies. It's the exact same method of plus 15 in your gear, but now it's reliant on um, seal weapons, six star, six star gear. It's way easier to do it on six star gear. So you just want to like farm seal until you find a drop, whether it be a sub weapon, a weapon, uh, even accessories for that matter. Like, look at this guy. I, this one dropped the other day. This only takes three refining catalysts to get to full S tier. So this is a perfect starting um, sub weapon. Perfect. Right. And I can then plus 12 this. Um, and I can try to get this all the way to plus 15 using the successive method. And then I will succeed it into a. Um, mythic sub weapon of my choice. So for me, that would be Twisted Marsh. So I would six star this guy, and then I would um, succeed my plus 15 sub weapon into this, and then blacksmith that up. Um, worth the try for Varad. <sighs> Vince, just do you have Genos? If you have Genos and you're just like, total free to play you don't really want to spend anything or or spend scrolls on it then maybe you don't need varad um varad is really really good though we're actually going to be checking that out today in some pvp my sub weapon from foggy is sssa okay so in your case um you might if you have any weapons or accessories that are not that good you can rebuild them from scratch i actually rebuilt uh, I rebuilt three of my weapons. I rebuilt my um, this guy, and I think I rebuilt like two of my accessories because it was just like it was easier for me to rebuild from scratch in order to get them to plus 15. For instance, this is still not plus 15 because my original light weapon really it had quad S stats, but it was only plus 12. And it's like, OK, I have plot. I have the quad stats. I, I can't really rebuild this weapon. So I'm just kind of stuck with it at plus 13. I, I eventually will get it to plus 15, but it's not a huge deal. But you can use the succession method on either like a new summoner or if you're rebuilding a weapon or rebuilding a, an accessory that doesn't have good substats. Uh, if it's six uh, A2, yes, you can use Ferrical to do the succession method as well. I think um, I'm six star two A. OK, yeah, all of your stuff is you did say six star two A. I had it in my mind. It was six star three A. So thank you for that. Just 15 real quick. It's not hard. You're right. It's not. You did say you're six star um, A2. So what that means for you is you're going to want to take. So let's say, for instance, you got like you know, a weapon here, right? Um, or let's say, yeah, see all this Farrakul stuff that I've been saving? You can use that for succession method too. Yeah, I do recommend it. Or in my case, I had a bunch of stuff that I hadn't built, like um, one or two accessories, and then most of my weapons were all trash. So I just rebuilt them anyway from scratch because I hadn't dumped refining catalyst in because I'm a very low spender. I didn't have a ton of refining catalyst. So I only spent, so I saved a bunch of refining catalyst in order to dump them all into my new gear, right? Because I could have used refining catalyst over time and got the gear, my original gear up to SSS, but I would have doubled the amount of refining catalyst. So because refining catalysts are the most expensive thing in this game, um, for me, rebuilding a lot of my weapons and a lot of my other stuff was way cheaper because it only took me three refining catalysts or it only took me four refining catalysts instead of taking nine or ten refining catalysts, which is what my original gear needed because it sucked that bad. But yeah, I, you just kind of have to um, analyze where you're at. Ooh. Got another Devilmon. 
So I'm saving all my ener all this energy guys for the weekend. I gotta switch over to Saleta now for uh, uh, XP runs. Um, yeah, so here's the thing for you, Jonathan. If it's a good time to do it since you're upgrading to Mythic. When it, we say new summoner, right? I'm building a new summoner, like you were saying earlier. Um, this is also a point where you're kind of building something. So you can use your six star 2A equipment and farm Farrakal, the Tree of Heroes raid, right? And you can do the succession method to get it to plus 15 before you finally succeeded into Mythic, right? So let's say that you have a really nice, um, like plus 12, plus 13 necklace. Just go farm Farrakal, get a bunch of these necklaces and do the succession method until you get it to plus 15. And then once it's plus 15, right? And I think you said you had fo uh, foggy gear. You can then upgrade that foggy gear to six star 3A and then finally succeeded into your mythic piece, which in this case would be um, a piece like this, right? For you, it'd be crit damage. And you would succeed that plus 15 gear with perfect stats into this guy. So you're actually at a really good spot right now. Since everything is only 2A, you can still farm Farrakul. And it's still relatively cheap to do the succession method like the old video. It's good, man. I, I, it's, it is crazy. I do need to make a new video on it. But essentially, you're at the same spot as the old video. <laughs> so the old video I posted, you're at that same spot. You can still use the Farrakul method. All right, guys. Um, let's look at doing some PvP here. It is quite confusing. I was literally just online with Barcode last night. <laughs> I trying to explain it to him as well. It's, it's not exactly the easiest concept to understand. Because there's a lot of moving parts and you want to make sure you don't mess up on anything. That's what I'm going to be doing too, Kira. I'm going to be rebuilding my Kina. I just need the Sky Stones to be able to do it. That's my problem. Because I'm going to blow through my Sky Stones. Yeah, the Farrakul method, I don't make that many YouTube videos, so it's probably only like a dozen YouTube videos back. But yeah, I would just study that video. I put a lot of effort into that video. That video still works great for your situation, since you're still running Farrakul. Um, like, still in that stage, 6-star 2A. People that are rebuilding brand new weapons or people that are rebuilding a new summoner, they should be focused on doing seal, like running seal to do the same method. All right, let's go look at, uh, let's make sure I got all my monsters Let's do some PVP. It's time. I got to trash on some, uh, some bronze players first before I get up there. It's a lot, Jonathan. It really is a ton of information, especially the amount that they've changed since uh, you left, most likely. It, it's a lot. What's better to farm, Farrakul or Seal? I already have 300 gems thing that Seal drops for Mythic. Uh, it, I, it depends, Curacao, where you're at with your gear. If you're rebuilding a weapon from scratch because it has doo-doo substats and it's like B, B, A, D or something like that... Um, then it's probably best to rebuild that from scratch using seal equipment. That's what I did for half of my gear. Um, but if your gear is at six star to a Kira, then you can still use the Farrakul method. But as soon as you go to six star three, a and the blacksmithing, you can't succeed it anymore. Y you have to like, it becomes extremely expensive. Yeah. So it kind of depends on where you're at. Um, let's get Josie something here. Um, let's get Nigong something here. 
the revive one. You get the revive one. I'd like to use my Nagong more. A hard time with him. All right, let's do let's do one. Let's go. Uh, let's go blast some some bronze players. Yeah. Uh, no, Jonathan, that one is the. Um, let me see if I can find it for you. That one's just the regular guide on how to beat Tree of Heroes. You should be able to beat Tree of Heroes now. Um, plus fifteen. Uh, ban an enemy weapon. Do that one. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Uh, what am I choosing? I'm choosing. Uh, Who'd that be? Thank you, TT Zona. TT Zona. Uh, share, copy, back into here. I think that uh that should be it. Uh, nah, let's do this and let's do this. Summoners War Paladins. But yeah, like I said, Jonathan, you're at a point right now, since all your gear is still 2A, you could use the old method still. It's slightly more expensive than rebuilding something from scratch from seal, but it's better than having to completely rebuild something since most of your gear is already pretty high sub sub stats. Um, okay, I got Annabelle in there. Let's bring in Eold. Varad. So you're at, you're at a point, Kira, now that everything is mythic. Was he kind of mad? <laughs> mad gamer tag? No, I think I'm just gonna be slapping on some legitimate bronze players right now. I just I have such a hard time doing PvP because it takes so much time. Both of my paladins. Uh, that's what I get for the timer, the timer, the almighty timer, since I'm trying to talk to chat. Well, you guys will get the Gianna gameplay. Bombs, bombs. But yeah, Kira, like I was saying, it's kind of hard now that you've already got everything 15 or like everything is already mythic. Um, you would literally have to build another mythic weapon, right? Or uh, another mythic you know, sub weapon or something like that in order to do the succession method. And at that point, you're wasting so much resources blacksmithing stuff up to that point. It's not a huge jump to get to plus 15, like as far as stats go. It is the eventual goal. And so, like, if you can get it done early, right, like rebuilding something, then that's helpful. But there was a lot of people that were in a similar situation where they already had their stuff kind of maxed out and it doesn't really work anymore. It has to be either at six star two a to run Farrakul or six star to do seal succeeding. Yeah, but only a plus 10 to plus 12. Like I said, getting to plus 12 isn't too bad. It's going from plus 12 to plus 15 that takes a ton of resources, and that's why we do the succession method. But again, I know a ton of people, like some of my best guildmates, have their accessories at plus 12 right now. It's not a huge jump. So it's not like, oh, you're just absolutely missing out on so much stat. It's not a huge jump. It's just like it's really nice to be able to get it done early if you can. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't sit there and care too much about it. Um, so Perna is unlikely going to be coming back as a banner anytime soon. But he will come to the five star selection ticket shop. 
soon. So I would save any five-star selection tickets that you might have for that. Yeah, coming back to the game is really, really tough. I would make sure, guys, go follow Barcode. Um, Barcode's phenomenal at putting out videos really, really quickly. Uh, I wanted to bop out Leo. Where's my Leo? Where's my Leo? I just can't keep up with the amount. But Barcode's a really good one, for, especially as a coming back player. He's making videos more focused on people coming back. My videos tend to be people that are kind of been in the game and been playing and more like meta stuff. Three tickets. Okay, so Jonathan Perna's you're gonna be your first ticket, hundred percent. I I heard some people talking about him, so that is kind of exciting. Water Monkey was one of my my favorite monsters uh, back in Sky Arena. Um, he's got the Ellen Noah. He doesn't have Root anymore, so I'm just gonna get rid of my Jamire. Then I have a lot of healing. Uh, unfortunately, Sean, not really. Not really. He does root, which was kind of strong, but it's not. I think it's like a single target root. So it's really good against an Orbia or like a Saleta that likes to move around and stuff. Because he, uh, because Wind Raven will go in and he'll root. Or did he give up? He'll go in and root the Orbia or the Saleta and then, like, just slice and dice him. Yeah, Kira, I might have to, I might have to soul connect a water monkey. She who? She who? I have my Varad soul connected right now, and I wanted to get some footage of Varad in PvP. What, um, was that the Japanese tournament or was that the Southeast Asia tournament with Gids? Because, yeah, I know his buff was pretty good. Summer's War Paladins. Okay, I'm just going to go full, full into it. Asia one, yeah, with Gids, nice. I need to go back and watch that. I need to see my see my boy Gids in action. Ah, stupid Gene. Okay, they have no immunity. Neither do I, but. You know what? Let's go with Nagong. Let's try Nagong. <laughs> yeah, just go put everything in storage for now. Um, we're getting a new system either next this Thursday or next Thursday. And it's going to be you'll be able to like essentially dissemble a lot of items into those blue little crystals, which are going to be a new thing. Um, Who do I want to get rid of? Uh... Let's go. Unfortunately, I'm going to get rid of Ophelia because I kind of want to run Juno. He isn't at the moment, Kira. He's all damage. All damage right now. Uh, if I had more despair runes and they were better, I would. I would put him on despair. I think that is best in slot for Varad.
Did you say impotent? Why will this freaking Masha not die? Oh my god. How is this Masha not dying? This Masha is literally no health. It's this freaking gene that just keeps everything alive. I should have just switched to Juno and just kept stripping. It would have killed it instantly. I was relying on the Varad to go through the uh, invincibility. Absolutely trash. Like I said, I would I would do despair. I just don't have despair runes. So if I put it on despair, he would be significantly weaker right now, just because stats. <laughs> but I will, I will. I just gotta find time to farm despair runes. God, you just need everything. You need all runes. You need more of every rune. No, not Nevo. Go away. Why are you down here at two star? You need to be up higher. Um, yeah, repeat quests and then just um, doing dungeons with uh, potions turned on. i um, not sure when you came in, but you should have a bunch of either purple or blue XP potions. <laughs> You're just like me, Kira. Uh, ah, picking it, picking it right off the bat. Okay, um, let's go. Summoners War Paladins. Yeah, so what you want to do is um, at the very beginning of this stream, you can actually see what I was doing. I was leveling my Kina. I popped one of those potions. Um, head over to town. No, why do you pick the thing that literally just destroyed me? Almost because, like, it was actually really good and just destroyed me. Um, and then go over to uh, the ice place, Florence. Go to the guilds or the springs and get your um, XP buff there. And then go run a ton of Kairos dungeons to get the bingo event right now. Do the bingo event right now. And that's uh, Kairos Essence Dungeons. Okay, so we're going to ban... Uh, this uh, we're never gonna kill anything. So he's gonna have to ban either his. Let's see what he bans. Okay, he bans his own ISIS. Interesting. Uh. The Gianna's not good into the Jamire because Gianna's going to stun. And the Jamire is going to be able to cleanse that off. I mean, it's not huge. Yeah, my job is too squishy. No, we got the old so fast. Oh, we got him. Summoners War Paladins. Ah, GG.
No, Jemire does not cleanse bombs. Jemire cleanses CC. Um, all C no, not all CC, or is it just specific CC? GG, Kira. Oh, that Gianna staying alive. Holy moly. That was like me facing the Masha last match. It's like, why won't it die? Um, let's see. Skills. Remove one harmful. Remove silence and root. So it's specific CC. So it doesn't um, oblivion. It doesn't deal with oblivion unless it removes a harmful effect and it removes the oblivion. Um, it doesn't remove stun. You're right. So the stun didn't matter, actually. You're right. So Gianna wasn't necessarily countered by this. I thought it was. I mean, this still does remove harmful effects and stuff like that, and he can't be CC'd, so it's like he's going to cleanse no matter what. I think it was the bombs there. The bombs just eventually um, took him out. Any news on the Wusa event? Nah, man, we've got so many events recently, and then we're going to be having a global anniversary event here soon in January, too, right? So it's like, when do they fit in the Wusa event? I don't know. Maybe they'll, like, rebrand the Wusa event and make it a Christmas thing. Uh, or like a winter thing. I don't know. But yeah, that Wusa event is going to be hoggers for sure. Do you build Water Monkey after the buff? He was a meta contender. Uh, yeah, I've got I was told by. Um, uh, one of my viewers earlier that uh, we should definitely be building Water Monkey. I heard he was uh, a meta contender. He won, uh, probably my favorite monster in um, Sky Arena. So I, d I do really want to soul link him. I think after today's brawl, I might unsoul link for Rod. And then go Soul Link Monkey King. Honestly, guys, is freaking is Louise better than Ophelia? Fine, I'll take Ophelia too. <laughs> you and me both. I just, I haven't here done PvP, as you guys know. <sighs> it just takes so long. Right? I feel like Wind Pally is just harder to counter. This is looking like a GG. We'll see. They got the Masha, so that's an important one. Let's bring the Kumar. Let's bring Kumar. Uh. Best in slot for Varad is going to be um, Despair. Um, ooh, What are we doing with the gore, my guy? Oh, getting rid of the invincibility. Ha! No, I'm going to get rid of him. I'm going to get rid of him. Oh, it was bait. It was bait. It was bait. <sighs> no, no, Maximilano. It was good because it removes invincibility AOE. So it was to counter the um, the Luis, and then it was bait, and I banned it, and then he ended up banning my Luis anyway. Okay, the Masha is coming after me. It's kind of good. Okay, Masha down. Or Masha not down. Somehow, somehow Jemire went down so fast. What the hell?
Did he go AFK? I wasn't even paying attention. Was it AFK? I don't know. It looked like an actual legitimate pick against my uh, Luis. I was like, what? Three-star meta pick into my Luis? Water Monkey King can kill Soletas pretty easily, even after evading. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, we'll have to go look at him. Jonathan, build Laika. Eh, I think he's the worst of the Dragon Knights for sure. Unfortunately. Yeah, Chow, Chow is the best for sure. And then Leo is pretty good as a counter um, to like Eleanor's, Tiana's, and anything else that does ultimate gauge. I like my Leo. Leo comboed with Ophelia is pretty nice. Honestly, everything countered with or com uh, comboed with Ophelia is pretty nice. Yeah, the water one's an easy win, especially because there's people like me that have no idea still how to counter water. <laughs> Yeah, uh, TJ, yeah, you're right. Uh, Jonathan up there is actually a... Uh, oh, speaking of Chow. I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to fight him. He's got to have to pick his... Keep his live on. Oh, no, he got rid of his Chow. Okay, he got rid of the Chow. Why? Why are you getting rid of... Chow, Garu, Water, Monkey King? What? God, Ophelia was so close. Oh, there's the big bombs. There's the ultimate, the Gianna ultimate. That's what we were looking for. Double bombs. Oh, they got rid of the John. What? Why won't this Ophelia die, man? I swear, oh, this combo, man. No, why why did it switch targets? <laughs> I 
God, it won't die. Got him. Just had to wait. Just had to wait. Oh. All right. Wind weapon switch. And then the tech for Juno is strip, 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 strip to get a bunch of stuff off of them. Stun them, all that other crap, and then at that builds your ultimate, and then you slam with because as you're stripping, you're losing a lot of health, right? Because you're not healing yourself with Juno. So strip, 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 and then ult to get all your health back. Whoo, what a close one! Uh, GG to uh, Circus. That was that was a fight. Hmm. You know what's funny? Like, no cleaves are using water right now. Like, there was a time when we were using water quite a bit. I think it's when Wusa wasn't that great. Or just Wusa wasn't really in the meta. And, like, water was just kind of reigning supreme. Uh, oops, 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 oops. Ophelia. <laughs> Great. You don't have cow belt? No, I, I don't. It's just one of those I haven't got to. I did soul link him once and I couldn't figure out how to use him. Cause I'm just that dumb. Ah, Leona. Still don't, still can't remember what she does. Shields, defense, I she has big protection with provoke. Yeah, I know, I know. Chow is OP. I just haven't gotten around to it. I would have to get rid of something else that I use often. We're almost. We're just missing the light one. Oh, oh, Varad going off. Varad going off. No, Juno, Juno. Okay. Okay, why did that not? Do we have immunity on? Frick. 
Or not immunity, invincibility. <clears throat> Keep getting provoked by this stupid Leona, man. Yeah, there's the Verad. Holy moly. I keep getting provoked by this stupid... Are the new summoner skills where you use the, it the most? Um... This is, this is GG. GG, Camel. Um... For Cleave? I used the fire one a little bit. Um, the fire new skill. Hey, let's go look at those. Um, the one with silence on his skill two. I used that in tear glands back when I was having issues with tear glands. Now we just quick battle everything. Um, Cleave's skill two with wind is not that great. I like I like the skill two wind right now, the regular one. Um, what else? Yeah, there's no switchies there. Uh, the wind skill one is new, and this is pretty good. Honestly, I should probably switch to this. Remove beneficial effect. It's pretty good. But I do like the shield also. The shield and airborne from this is pretty strong as well. It's kind of hard. I, I can't decide between these two. Strong wind and wind rush. Ice. Ice is pretty decent. It's a lot of CC along with like Varad or something. It could be really good. Uh, fire, shield, I don't really use this one. Unrecoverable here is just way too good. Gotta keep unrecoverable. She's okay into a ton of buffs. I mean, she does strip a decent buff. It's like, you just can't have a ton, like you said. You gotta have just a couple. Um, nice. Tony as Eliz Tony Eliza. I don't know. I don't know. So is this is this Zhao now? I don't know. Everybody's a Zilla now. Uh, Rune Dusky? Probably. Yeah, just tanky. He just needs to stay alive. Where's the Genos for Rad? <laughs> It's tough because it's like <laughs> it just needs to have the right situation. We'll try to find some more situations. I don't could I use him in this one? If I ban the Wusa, yeah, I probably could use Varad. Morning, Aga. How you doing, man? But Gianna bombs, though. <laughs> no water meter, huh? <laughs> well, we'll we're gonna we'll slot in Varad next one, whether he fits or not.
Um, I've already done some footage of me kind of talking about it. I haven't put together the video just yet. Um, but it's kind of hard. I think they're different situations. They're not one for one. Yeah, this will be fun. This will be a good one. There you go. Now we have Jeno's versus Varad. It's so true. Um, I kind of want to get rid of that because it's just going to strip off everything. And it's big AOE. He's going to delete my Varad. This is what I have him on right now. Uh, best in slot is definitely going to be despair, though, if you have the despair runes. I don't want to. I gotta kill this barber real quick. I need to switch over to wind. Oh my gosh. See, Jeno's just stunning the crap out of me. I don't know, boys. Got the bar uh, out of the way. Marad wins this one. That's what I should do, though. I should do um, I should do some friend battles, and you guys have to pick. Um, like, we'll swap off between, like, Varad and Genos or something like that. Greeting Smurf Village. I like that. I need to make, like... Y'all seen those streamers that have, like, the... Um, like the little characters down at the bottom of the screen that like signify all the people that are watching. I should do that, but have them as little Smurfs, bro. Uh, Josh says completely unrelated question regarding the dark and light fairy queen event. Did they really make it? So you miss a single day of the hundred days. You can't get light fairy queen. I think Josh, don't get me wrong. Yes, Rafi said it's not a time frame one. It's one that will just stick around and stay there. Does that make sense? There's a lot of those events. Like if you start a new account right now, there's a lot of events that are like old events. They're like, oh, these are still here. Yeah, because they're like ongoing events that you just complete whenever you're done. Yeah. All right, guys, we got our first Varad versus Genos win. For um, footage purposes. Uh, yeah, Varad stats, sure. This is him right now. If I were to build him better, right now this is just kind of like where the runes laid out to be pretty decent. If I could build him better... I would build him a little less crit and attack, crit damage, a little bit less attack, and I would go more heavy into defense and HP. Just to make sure that he stays alive. But I would also put him on despair. So I just got to farm despair runes until I... So I have enough to spare runes like my only good to spare runes are on Juno right now.
I'd love to maybe put Gianna on despair too, but she's just on sort of like a broken set right now just to get her the stats. You know, I might have some decent despair runes. I haven't checked in a while. But despair runes are just hard, man. I don't know why. They just never work out well. Where do you farm those nowadays? Oh, it's here. I mean, guess like I could be getting swift runes from here too. Like I have my archers, my, all my archers look pretty good right now, so I don't really need swift runes. If you build her, not if you build her for support, which she's built for support right now. Honestly, fatal's the best way to go, so that way you get more damage off of the, uh, off the the bombs. But if you can get high attack off a despair set. And she uses her AOE stuns and her AOE strips and her AOE everything. Everything's AOE. Is it not? This is hits three times in an area. This is hits within an area. This isn't like multiple attacks, I guess. When removing it is stunned for 3.5 seconds. That's when removing. But if you don't remove anything, you know, just double more stuns, right? You're right. Maybe not the best on despair, but I feel like it could work. Uh, here, let me open up a friend battle real quick. Uh, Brawl Arena... Uh, random first pick is fine. Spectator chat, fine. Create lobby. Um, let me give you guys the join code in chat real quick. But you should be able to see it anyway in the lobby. We can do, um, we'll do Genos and Varad picks. Yeah. You either, you gotta have a Genos or a Varad. <laughs> is Varad strong enough DPS to be main carry, for example, PvE with Tiana and Verd? 100% TGN. 100%. Uh, he is like a Genos replacement as far as PvE in my concern. Like, for towers, like if I was doing Spires of Ascension or towers, um, man, I, I use Genos so much. He was so good. So, in this case, Varad would be a good Genos um, alternative in, in that situation. But for sure. I have been liking my Gianna Rappi. I, I've been using her more and more, and I built her tanky, um, so that way she could just land a bunch of bombs. Tanky with high attack, almost kind of like a Hawaii build. Um... And she's been she's been working pretty well. All right, let's see. At least you you here? Okay, cool. Let's see if you got your uh, Genos of a rod. Hmm. Depending on what I'm picking, though, let's just get rid of light. Light's always a good pick to get rid of. All right. Um, we're going to start out. I'm going to first pick. I'm going to first pick Varad. Or actually, I don't know what Elise has. Elise may not have Genos. Mm, probably going to go Juno. And let's go Luis. Hey, Blackie Bear, we need, I need you to hop in here to this friend battle. Uh, are you going to last pick? We're not going to last pick Genos? I'll pick Genos. Genos? Genos? I always get it wrong. Genos, right? G? G? Genos. 
you have a uh, black and you have um genos or varad built we're kind of doing like video stuff right now trying to get footage on varad and genos uh what do we get rid of juno um let's go with let's go with varad in this case i don't have any serious strips though so the nagong is gonna be unfortunately Let's see how the Jemire does. He's not really built great. Like, he's kind of whatever, but... Should hopefully be decent against the Isis. Get him, get him. Get the Masha. Okay, we did get the Masha. Got rid of the uh, silence. This is going to be kind of a nightmare, honestly. I got to go for this Nagong, man. I don't know what I'm doing. Wait, 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 wait. Got the Nagong. I had to get his, uh, get his revive off first. Which one is the one that does defense break? This one doesn't do defense break. It's the this one that does. Oh, I had beneficial effect blocker on. I'm an idiot. GG, Elise. Okay, we'll do... I'll let you have your Genos then. and Obviously, you know I'm going to pick Varad, so you can try to counter Varad. Uh, join code is in chat. Let me throw it back up here. Hey, GG. All right, if anybody wants to come in and use their Genos or their Varad, I want to try to do some more uh, Genos versus Varad stuff. It'd be kind of fun. I got a join code at the bottom left. Was this double Elise? <laughs> He didn't aim Varad. Yeah, he should have played. He should have aimed uh, aim Varad because that is like Varad is the weak point. He's he's the good part of the team, but he's also the weak part of the team in that he's only 60k HP and 4k defense, which isn't horrible, but it's not like top level PvP stuff. Better at least just joined. <laughs> Do you have, um, do you have, no, you're good, Blackie. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, no shit. It's better, Elise. The fuck? All right. You got a Geno Severod can use. What the hell? Tell me you play PVP without telling me you play PVP. Holy moly. I love that better at least just joined. <laughs> um Honestly, this is the Geno's pick right there. Up against what I just picked. Uh, of course, he's just gonna he's gonna just teabag on me with the bomber combos.
and the Figaro. Two things that uh, Medical Scape just pulled yesterday or er, on Thursday. What am I most scared of right now? Honestly, if I can survive this and I can get rid of that, uh He's going to get rid of Dover. <laughs> so much bomber. For content, exactly, for content. It's always for content, man. Um, select a monster to ban. There's so much bomb and root and silence. I need my Annabelle. God, what am I getting rid of? I guess I can't get rid of Jemire. Okay, honestly, I think Jemire is better than Annabelle now at getting rid of like those CC things. If it's specifically root and silence, which is what this is. Except I don't know what this one does. He does bomb. Ugh. I have. Two healers. I got Jamar and I got Usa. We got good over Rod. Oh, can we get Figaro? Rod, do your thing, bud. <laughs> Rod's doing a thing. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. I guess the the immunity on Wusa got up quick enough before some of the silences and all the bombs started doing damage. GG, man. Wait, wait, you can go again if you want. If you want to throw a different a different comp out. <laughs> GG better at least stop getting up. No, no, I think you. I some of the picks were a little bit wonky. I, I know you could do it. You just got to go Summoner's War Paladin. That, that's all it is. Oh, uh, we'll go that. You just go Summoner's War Paladins and you win. Except you actually had the Paladins and I didn't. Wait, what am I saying? Um, we're going to pick, in my opinion, best paladin. Makes him want to go fire and then I go Varad, right? Except that he did pick the Jemire, though, so that's a little scary. Um, let's go with. Let's go with Kumar. He can't be he can't be silenced. Unfortunately, because he can't be CC'd, but maybe I'll maybe I'll get rid of Jamire. We'll see. This was kind of like my plan is to get rid of Jamire, right? That's what the, the Kumar pick is, but we'll see what else he brings out. Okay, Genos, yes. <laughs> okay. Um Hamana 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 Hamana. He doesn't have a ton of root. And silence. Honestly, if we just pick the Wusa again, it's pretty strong. Um, immunity is always good. Honestly, let's have fun. Let's go, Gianna. Can chow my Varad 100%. But that's when you ban chow, right? That's when you ban chow. It doesn't matter what everything else is. Oh, yep. Yeah, there's the, uh, the shoo shoo. Ooh, si more silence, right? Mana regen speed up and silence. So we did go with the uh, the shoo shoo. I'm thinking we ban. I think we have to ban Jamire for Kumar's sake. 
And problem is, though, if he just soul links Shushu the whole time, I'll never get a silence in. So in that case, we're just going to go ahead and ban <laughs> the Genos. I did have a rod, though. It's tough, though, because like it, Barad versus Genos. I can pick Genos next time. Oh, wait, you don't have a rod built, you said. Or no, Blackie doesn't have a rod built. All right, better release. Let's see what you got. Um, Varad's dead instantly. Um, that's cool and all. We love that. So now it's just condom meta till the end. Dude, Masha's really, really good. Why can my Masha not be this? I'm dead. 100%. <laughs> There's better Elise. That's the better Elise we were looking for. Dude, the Masha just destroyed. Well, I mean, you're Cleef probably too on Wind Cleef. I think they're both good in different situations, Klossy. I think they're good in different situations. Oh, wait, why do I ban Wind Cleef? I, I was planning on doing Genos this time. I see Phil. Thanks for following over on Twitch, man. Yeah, he's going to ban my win because he's going to pick Farad. Uh, so in that case, I probably need to go. If I go, if I go water. Hmm. Ah. Um, he's going to go Varad. Because if I pick Genos here, I'll probably go Luis again. That Masha, though, just absolutely wrecked me, man. Uh, they're different. Uh, I see they're definitely different. Um, Varad has more CC potential if you put him on despair. I know. Yeah, Gen so many people regret not getting Genos, man. Well, I don't know. Now that they released Varad and he's supposed to be the Genos 2.0 or the Genos replacement, it's like, are they even going to make good on their promises to like build a monster? That is just like Genos. I don't know. Oh no, not the gel, not the gel. Ah, <laughs> uh, not the chow. It is true. That is one of his biggest weaknesses right now is that he is going to die fast in most high level PVP situations. I probably won't be able to kill him off quick enough because I'm just a bot, but. And now he's got triple. I'm just going to have to I'm going to have to go balls hard. I'm going to have to go balls in. Get rid of Ophelia. Go, uh, go Luis. He doesn't. He has the strip from. Oh, see if we can't kill the Varad. 
We got Ethna going to work. Ethna going to work. No, 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 no. Okay, I got invincibility up. Got invincibility up. Um, can we get some heals? Can we get some heals? But now, oh God, there goes my Genos. Holy moly. I don't know what to do now. I don't know what to do now. Frick, 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 frick. He's got in unlimited immunity now. Oh, I, I did the stupid, I'm an idiot. Uh, she's not gonna do it. Was she stunned? Yeah, she's not gonna do it. GG. Damn, I should have done invincibility instead of shield. That was stupid. He had unrecoverable on my Ethna. Yeah, this is just an unstoppable combo. God, Wuso and Juno. Never going to get through that. Check damage chart. Well, the the uh, the Varad wasn't up for very long because we did snipe the Varad out pretty quick. Um, yeah. We did snipe the Varad out pretty quick, so Genos is obviously going to get a little more. But honestly, Genos wasn't alive that much longer. That's the hope, Mondando, uh, Monado, is that they would do a reskin one like they do in Sky Arena. And that's what they kind of hinted at when they promised that. But I don't know. Maybe, uh, of course, Alvin, thanks for thanks for helping out with the content. Um, yeah, they should be doing a reskin one, but who knows? Now that they have a ride, it's almost like they're like, hey, we did it. We got you a reskin version. So like you saw there, like it wasn't the best pick for me. I had two damage healers. I needed more condom. I needed more like maybe like instead of Luis or something, I went uh, or like instead of Genos, I would go like Nagong or something like that for revives on the Ethna. <clears throat> I want to see you back. Hey, if somebody in chat has a water monkey king, let me know and I'll, I will go up against it just to see it. I have not seen. I, I do not think I have ever seen a water monkey king in action. To be fair. Sal rog. You got one, TJ? All right, here. Come join. I know you said it's good against like Soletas and stuff, so we'll see how it how it faces up against the Cleef. Yeah, YB, I 100% agree. Like, if it was supposed to be a, a reskin, then it needs to be just straight up the same. Yeah, it being a mage is completely different from what Genos does. Now, I will say that Genos, one thing that Genos has as like a downside is that he's melee, right? He's he's in the middle of the fight all the time. And that leaves him very susceptible to Sharon's, uh, very susceptible to basically any AOE attack. Um, you know, there's lots of AOE cleave things. You know, he just, went poof, right? So I will say that has been my Genos experience is that because he's sort of a front liner in a lot of ways, he tends to get targeted pretty quickly. And no matter how much HP and defense you have, you know, anything's going to get sliced and diced if you're not careful. Whereas in our sort of condom meta that we have, Varad seems a little bit safer. I don't think I would pick a Varad into an Orbia. Or maybe not even a Saleta. Freaking first pick Gene, no kidding. Uh, oh, you're doing Water Monkey King, that's right. Um... So I know this thing is going to destroy me. So I have to. I have to figure out what to do against it. Uh, let's just go Luis. And Barad. No, oh, that's right. You did post that. I saw that GG on the Grogan. Oh, God. I don't know what Grogan does.
You know what? I'm getting rid of the freaking. I'm getting rid of the freaking gene. You've had enough fun with your gene. Takes more damage from RGB monsters. Oh, look, that's literally all I have. Uh, what is it getting? Uh, what is the timer getting rid of? Oh, it's getting rid of Luis. Cool, cool, excellent. Because the timer is God. Oh, 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 summoner destroyer, summoner destroyer. Oh, 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 no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Nah, there I go. Okay, man, I just could not out heal it. Granted, I only had Jamira for heals. Freaking Ardella not doing work. GG. GG, Taya. Ah, uh, that's not what I want. I want damage shards. Ardella doing work. Do I main cleave? A hundred percent cleave. hundred percent cleave. I don't have the time to build another summoner, man. Time and resources and money to build another summoner. Why don't you, let's go again. Uh, let's see if I can't counter it a little bit better. I think eventually we'll get to it to the whole being able to do alts all the time. So that thing was constantly putting out block beneficial effects. Constantly. So we're going to go double paladins because double paladins is Bay. He's going to do monkey King. Um, We're going to try to get as much healing as we can. And we're going to go back. Oh, no, my Garo is not built. Fuck. Let's go Gianna. And let's go. Maybe Nagong again. Okay. He's just going to strip everything off the Wusa, so I just need to be able to cleanse. As far as I understand how this guy works, if he's anywhere close to what steals, applies blocking when a certain chance when attacking a stun target or when applying stun. Interesting. I need to read up on him a little bit more since evidently he's meta. Waiting for invincibility, waiting for invincibility. There it is. 
Okay. So, obviously, in this case, I definitely went more like Cleave Condom at this point. So, it's like, it makes a little bit more sense that it was easier. But... And, like, I know he's going to bring it, so it's like I'm trying to... Trying to pick exactly against it. Yeah, YB, I would say Heath, a ton of people waiting for Heath. Honestly, like, Cleave is kind of the, is kind of a warrior in a way. Like, the way that his kit comes out, like, I feel like he's very warrior-esque. Like, he doesn't, his skills don't scream at night class to me. Does that make sense? They don't scream, like, super tanky. Like, he gets deleted. Yeah, no, my cleef is good. Don't, don't get me wrong. My cleef is one of the better cleefs out there, but still. He can still get deleted, and he just doesn't feel like a knight. All right, so this was the core that allowed us to kind of beat the Shihu. So let's see what he can bring instead. Disarm your shield and get a bigger sword, right? Yeah, we're going to have to really see how Heath plays out. It's going to be really interesting, for sure. Can it bring... Ah, okay, so we're going to bring this instead, the Laura. So that's going to be the check to see if it's different um i think the gene is just too strong i gotta get rid of gene so here's my problem is i have nothing to deal with laura nothing i should i should have brought maybe a juno or something like gianna and juno that way he has to ban one of them And here we go. So am I just stupid or does Saleta not get um, affected by root? I don't know. Am, am I just stupid and I don't know how Saleta's work? Okay, this is kind of a nightmare. Yeah, spell shield is where it's at, man. Oh, spell shield. Well, no, I'm in general though. In general, I feel like root never like works against her. But maybe you're right. Maybe I'm just constantly going up against her spell shield. Ah, this is it. This is they're using the I'm dead. Oh, big. Oh my, I can never get this block beneficial effect off. Okay, I got the continuous recovery on. Yeah, spell shield is crazy, man. Holy moly. Yeah, oh, Laura. If you don't have anything to deal with it. We're almost there, though. We're almost there. Kana meta for the win. Shihu feels like he's slowing down a little bit right now. Come on, Laura. Come on, Laura. Get out of here, Laura. Yep, 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 yep. Big, big. He's doing the big thing. Okay. Ariel coming clutch. Let's get rid of that. Got her. Okay, okay, okay. We did get the Laura eventually. 
It's just this this triple setup right here is just so much to get through. It's such a wall. For sure, yeah, no, it's mad heals and protection. Like, there's just, it's, just, he got really close a couple times. He was using that, um, that Laura to reduce my mana, and therefore I couldn't utilize my, my cleanse, my double cleanse. I could switch her out like that and let her do it off soul link, but. Uh, let's switch over. He got rid of the wind. They get a blind on him, so that's helpful. The Shihu never dying, though. Oh, there it is. Yeah, she got rooted. I'm just an idiot. GG, TJ. Ooh. It's just the wall. What do you do against the wall? That Laura was a nightmare, though. The Laura was the thing that almost killed me, though, with the um, the mana down. Not being able to you know, use my skills. But then when you use that a bunch, then you leave yourself open because you don't have spell shield. And then you can just get chipped away at. All right, GG, TJ. Woo! It wasn't Genos versus Varad, but. Is that what it was, Andesu? I can't I can't even pay attention. Do you have auto? I have everything max, bro. I've been playing this game for a year. It's so much easier to max these nowadays because you can just spam energy into Expedition and get all the skill books you want. Which honestly, I think is a great use of your energy early game to get your summoner max out. Like, why are we why is this an achievement right now? Why is this something we're getting for an achievement? Welp, the squad doing okay. I need to look at my um, my Jemire. Even at his current state, he's look he's doing pretty good. Yeah, man, I'll, I'll show you him after this one. Just remind me, like, when we get towards the end of this match, remind me so I don't forget. Because I will. Um, okay, so we're going straight into that. So we're going to go straight into... I need my, my Garu. Ugh. Um, we're going to go... Oh, Ariel. Ariel's still so good. I need to wait for Galios to fix my cleave gears until that. Well, make sure to at least get your refined catalyst. At least do Galgos to get refined catalyst. That's all you need. It's the most important thing. Okay, so he's giving me that. So we need to make this Geno's content. So we're going to go get rid of Kumar, which I think is the better ban anyway, because he's got the Espino up front. So the Espino is going to rip through Kumar. So Espino is going to have a much harder time with this thickest boy. Just saying. Look at that aerial. Thick. Oh, there goes the Genos.
Now get through the wall. Show me your plan. I'm just waiting. Get my mana back. We're going fire staff. We're going for Leica. And we're going to spam this. And then we're going to go once I'm out of root. And we're going to do ultimate on that. And then spam again to kill. There we go. Uh, we're going to switch to aerial. Do that because it's only two defense breaks. And we're going to spam that. I, well, we're going to spam it once he's got buffs on. Because we need buffs in order to get mana back. There we go. Okay, 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 okay. Mr. Sky Dark, he's, he's having a time. He's having a time. Okay, I got the provoke on. Ooh. Uh, let's go with that. S oh, get off this. Come on. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Why am I still rooted? What the actual? Okay, okay, this is broken. This is broken. I literally can't do anything right now. I literally am stuck. I'm literally stuck. I'm literally stuck. Like, what the actual? How is this a thing? How is this allowed? I cannot get out. Thank you. Fuck you. Sorry. Not actually fuck you. Just. That was egregiously toxic. No, I know. I know what's happening, but I'm like, where is the pause? Like, where is the the part where it's balanced and I can get out? Right. That's that was my question. It wasn't like what's happening. It's more of like, how is there not an opening for me to get out? Jeez. It's the Orbia skill, like her her skill there. I forget. But you see how long that was? I, it wasn't like maybe he like misclicked and didn't do his skill again, but I felt like I would have been there forever. Sheesh. Oh, I should probably go do a field event. Yeah, Ariel could still. Yeah, well, Ariel and both Juno too. Juno can't use it unless she she has to move closer to the person. I don't think Juno. It wasn't the fact that Juno needed to move. She was right next to me. It was that my mana was so high I could never actually use. Like my mana cost was so high that I could never actually use it. It's kind of crazy, actually. Wait, where the hell? Wait, field event is live? Oh, but what's happening right here? Thank you. This man's going to die so quick. You got to come in here with your ult ready to go nowadays. Ah, uh, you're lagging the stream. Yeah, you can't like 
You can't just walk up to it anymore. You gotta be ready. Because it goes down in like less than a minute now. Uh, somebody asked for my cleave skills. My cleave. Actually, I think this is... My, I think my dark staff is my best. There you go. So there's the cleave. Um, my goal right now is to eventually get enough preservation stones to swap out some stuff. Swap out precision for HP percent. Uh, swap out precision for HP percent and precision for um, probably like accuracy or something like that. Accuracy would be pretty good because um, Cleef has a lot of little skills that he can land that are pretty vital. And then there's a lot of room for growth here. Look, res and evasion, bruh. I could have defense and HP here. Uh, this one's good. Uh, I could do evasion. I could go to HP. Evasion, I can go to, uh, you know, accuracy, attack, something like that. But as you can see, my HP is really low. Everything else is perfect. It's fine. It's just my HP. But I'm also trying to get HP in these, um, in these stones. Like, I don't need this crit rate stone. Um... And like, I'll keep that crit damage one there, but this crit rate one I can get rid of. Cause like my crit rate is fine, but I'd rather put an HP one here. But yeah, that's the cleave. All right. Uh, target. I'd love to be closer to 75, but that's a long way away. I have to roll a lot, but there is a lot of room to roll. I could get HP there. I could get HP there. I could get HP there, right? There's a lot of places where I can get it. So I think like 75 or getting close to that. Slayer, double kill, running riot, kill tacular. Eh, he should go on wind. Well, he went fire, so. Hmm. Ah, huh, 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 huh. Got my Josie so bad. Ooh. Okay. Hamana, 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 hamana. Uh, Joe Espino is just Espino, man. Espino is freaking nuts. He's so good. He's going to rip through anything, man. Because Genos gives... Genos' uh, survivability is through his shield and his anti-CC. But then it's like that... Um, Espino doesn't care about any of that. Just rips through it. Um... I think I lose here. Hello. I have no Leo now.
get the this this wunsa. This wunsa is dangerous. Sharon just doing her thing, man. Come back here. Uh, let's look at stats on Genos. Genos is pretty good. Honestly, though, I will say I have my better runes set on my Varad at the moment. Um, dude, Josephine's only a 11, man. I, I need more scrolls. I need more transcendent scrolls so I can get more blessings, man. Dang, Sharon, indeed. Uh, where's my Genos? Let me put my runes back on him. See, I got my my regular Genos runes are on my Geno, uh, my uh, Varad at the moment, but these are still pretty solid. He's he's lacking a little bit of defense. Ugh. But he's not he's not squishy by any means, but he's also not tanky. I mean, we could build them totally tanky and go like 50% less crit damage and throw it all into defense and HP. And use him more as like a CC defense breaker unit that also does a ton of damage. I just haven't gotten around to rebuilding him like that because like he works pretty well by itself. I think in that particular situation, though, it was just um, Espino is just the perfect counter to him. Uh, no, 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 no. Um, I just switched my Argon. No, no, my Argon and my Geno share runes. So I had just switched to the Genos' runes to Argon. So it was, he was ruined. Let's do let's do Louise. Um, um let's do hmm. Let's do some Gianna. And there's the Laura. So we're going to go that. And we just got to get rid of that. He's going to have to get rid of his Usa or his Luis. Or one of these three. Or not Luis, uh, this thing, Lima. Oh, why did I ban? No, I, I, my timer. Damn it, I should not have banned Juno. I needed Strip. What the hell? Yeah, I see. I feel that, man. My Gianna finally got buffed, and that's like my only decent... My only decent monster now. Yeah, Frigate's not bad. This is just an absolutely OP composition that he has right now. Like, I pay I picked wrong. I I don't know what I did. Why did I ban my Juno? That was so freaking dumb. It's me trying to talk to chat. That's my problem. Don't try to PvP and stream at the same time. You want to, all you want to do is talk to chat. No, you're good. You're good, Icy. That's my favorite part. You, you know me. I don't. I don't give two craps about PvP, man. People can have all their EP numbers all as much as they want. I do not care about it. We're just out here having a little bit of fun. 
Um, let's go. Yeah, I've got a frigate too, actually. He was my first LD. Uh, let's see. Cypher considered squishy on Asia. Oh, I'm sure it's considered squishy to the top 10 people. Sure. Great. I'm not G3 or G2 or whatever it is. I'm like gold. Um, let's see. What are we picking? Where's Louise? Well, I just didn't want, I had to pick something because I can't let the timer get me. The timer is going to get me every single time. The timer is meta. Timer meta. He's nice as a non soul link monster, especially in defense. Yeah, and then as a soul link monster in PvE content, he's really, really good. Uh, I need more heals. I need more heals. Where's Where's Luis? Well, it was a long time ago, my friend. It was a long time ago. I am no longer Master 4. So he is perfectly built for gold. <laughs> well, I don't know. He just got deleted by that other team. But that was because I bad picked. I didn't. I don't know why I banned my own Juno. Um, I'm not that worried about the Perna, honestly. I think I'm most worried about the Wusa. And then that is going to counter that. So let's get rid of. Fortunately, we can get rid of Gianna. I think I need everything else. Yeah, uh, Frigate carried me through some PvE content. Like, some of those really hard stages in Spires, you just throw Frigate on, boom, done. Uh, I think he's good only if Chill Explosion will trigger. Um, Yeah, that is the important part of his kit. He is more of a CC monster, CC plus damage, which is why I, people are saying to build him on Despair, which I agree with. Okay, Juno did that. There we go. Got the Lynette. See, there's a good Leo usage. I should need to relook at my Leo. He's still on his weird stats right now. He's on his weird set. Toe for 370 crit damage. Almost 7,000 attack. That'll do it. Ophelia did more damage than Leo. But Leo was countering the, the Eleanoa. You know, I just saw Farmer's video this morning. I didn't watch it all the way through yet. I need to watch it. So I have not looked at the Water Heart Magician. Yeah, TGN is right. It's 45% on each of those hits. So it's like, it ends up being almost a guaranteed. Because it's like 45% first hit, then you get another chance. So it's like three different checks. You're rolling, you know, your nat 20. Right? You're rolling your your uh, D20 and three times, and hopefully one of them passes. I've been playing too much BG3. My wife and I are right at the end. We're at the final battle, or final two battles, I guess. 
finally, finally getting almost done. And then we just start a new campaign because BG3 is too good. Ah, uh, still don't like dark. I like fire. Fire's got destroy, got continuous recovery, provoke, unrecoverable, stun. Fire's just so good. Um, we're gonna go with Luis. Ah, wonderful. So we got to go with the double strip counter here. Juno and Gianna. Gianna is now like the person I bring in for strip now. Um, okay. Varad. Uh, does this thing... bringing that it's not oblivion but something ah okay and that's what i have her built as i have her built as more just like tanky hp defense i feel like i feel like he's gonna be pretty solid Let's get rid of Louise. I don't feel like they have a ton of damage. I gotta stay. I gotta have Juno, though, for strip. Could always double up with another freeze monster. What would be another freeze monster that's, like, decent? Outside of, like, Water Orbia. Oh, there. Varad's almost dead. Everything is invincibility always. So it looks like Varad's not go not gonna be helping us today. It's just, Lyman's just impossible, man. Like, such a broken unit. Just absolutely impossible. 90 beneficial effects. Oh, yeah, I got to go do some attacks. So maybe I'll do one or two more um, PVPs, and I got to do some siege attacks real quick. Suxer99, what's up, bro? Thanks for joining over here. Over on Twitch. Twitch has been growing. Make sure you guys go like, and if you uh, have a chance, open up another tab and hop over to Twitch and go follow over there if that is your preferred streaming. I'm telling you, Anasu, I've said this before. I have her built. You want to see? You want to see what her accuracy is? Her accuracy. Look at this. It is 94% when stripping defense up, when stripping attack up, continuous recovery. Hey, it's spacebar. Uh, TJ. But it goes down to 2% when it deals with immunity and invincibility. I swear to God, that's what it is every single time. Bring Karambit. I do not have pieces for Karambit. I don't think Karambit's getting built anytime soon. There are drops over on, on Twitch. That is that is true. Okay, we're going to bring what we know works, and then we're going to try to build around that. Okay, he's bringing the Laura. 
right, Anitsu? <laughs> it's it's so true though. It's like strips everything else just great, but then when it comes to immunity and invincibility, it just cannot strip. Honestly, let's do this. Problem is we need more strip and we don't have more strip. Oh wait. Let's bring that. Might be a fourth band, we'll see. Let's get rid of the Laura. I am on fire though. I'm on fire weapon and that was dumb. I didn't recognize it was space bar until I had picked my fire weapon. A water cat also. <laughs> um Okay, I got rid of that, so I don't really need that. Sort of like a, a bait ban. I need to get over to wind staff as soon as possible. I am stunned. Oh my god. Give me give me No! What where was my mana? Like I never got the opportunity in like six seconds to use my Ophelia heal. Where was my mana? Wait, where is mana? GG, TJ. I'm so confused. I sat there and saved it forever too. Does he steal mana too? Okay. He didn't feel like he was that strong last time I faced him. Like that exact team wrecked, not wrecked, beat almost that exact team last time. But I guess Monkey King just landed more this time or something. Maybe Monkey King missed a lot, or maybe I just got lucky the last time. Freaking, freaking A, man. Lots of stuns. He's probably a really hard monster to build. Because he probably needs attack speed, too. That's always where it's rough. Is Oh, there's Revo. I tested him and was not a fan. I don't know. Evidently, in the uh, Southeast Asia meta, which is evidently the best meta from what I keep hearing, um, he was used a lot there. Hmm. Yeah, for sure. I'm not going to build on straight attack speed, but it's I would probably want to get to maybe that second tick. That would be that would be ideal. I feel like this is going to become my new like double pick here. Just need a hundred crit rate. Just that's all you need. Just just a hundred crit rate. Plus you need lots of HP. Plus you need lots of attack. Plus you need lots of crit damage. Plus you need a little bit of attack speed. Plus you need forty five hundred to five thousand defense. Easy to build. Easy to build. Let's see. Oh yeah, don't forget accuracy as well. You need accuracy. Ah. Uh, um. Okay. Yeah, we'll stay on that. Hmm. 
Mm, let's see here. Yeah, I did get the bombs go off. Everyone's stunned, though. Lol. Big Gianna, big Gianna, come here. Oh! Those bombs went off, though. Okay, uh, Liebly down. With that over there, DJ TV. Thanks for uh, subscribing over there. Twenty nine percent actually, actually is a bonus. Yeah, it worked. Then I guess you got the actually the attack speed is all you need. Eh? It's not that high, but I guess that's all you need. And that bonus stats, not always eighty percent got upgrade lulls. Gianna, my guys, Gianna, pretty good. Damn, that's an Orbia too. Holy moly. Magical Archer Room? Sure, sure. Hey, GG sucks. Was that was that you or no? I can I can never know who's on whose names or what. Um, all right, let me go. Oh no, not you. Gotcha. Bro, can I see your magical rune? Oh yeah, yeah. I've got two built right now. They're not like I wouldn't say they're the best, but they're pretty good. They they do their job. Um, so here's water to start. I've only got her on the second. I don't even have her on the second tick. I only have her on the first tick. There's a lot of a wasted attack speed here. Uh, HP, attack, attack. And then I also have my Ardella kind of working on her a little bit. She's on Swift. Uh, defense, attack, HP. But she does have the attack speed. So, not horrible. <laughs> too lazy to push? Me too, bro. I'm going to be in, like, gold, and that's where I'll stay. Because it's like, you got to do all your other stuff in the game, and then you have to sit on your computer for, like, two hours a day pushing PvP, pushing Brawl? No, thank you, man. It's too much time. I can't wait for Battlefield, though. New Battlefield, 3v3 ARAM map. Like, that's going to be legit. Like, I am so excited for that. Like, I'm more excited for that than almost anything else. Because that's what I've been saying for so long. Battlefield could be the pinnacle of content in this game. Like, as far as, like, what's fun to play. Like, if it's good and if it's anywhere close to, like, an ARAM-style map for League of Legends or something like that, then it could be extremely fun. And it's only 3v3, so it doesn't feel like a mosh pit, right? Whereas all the other battlefields feel like a freaking mosh pit. But 3v3, ARAM-style map slowly moving up. I would love to them to be able like, do buffs and stuff like that. Kind of like uh, a traditional um, arena MMO like that. Uh, Amy, hi, new player here. For, uh, my 50 pulls so far, I got Red Phoenix. You're good. You beat the game. Red Phoenix is all you need. Uh, Green Polar Queen, very solid monster for sure. Who should I get from the selective summon? Well, okay. Depending on what summoner you are. Um, Barcode actually just put a video out. I pretty much agree with him as far as getting selective summons. Um, you got Perna. Perna is your damage dealer from here on out. Like they will literally carry you through everything. Um, that's a boss. Hey, Blur, what's up, man? Uh, Tuffers, have you made a new max level jewelry? I don't see any good video on it. What is better, heroic jewelry or new max tier jewelry? Oh, the accessories? Oh, you want to go for um, hero raid set every time. 
does she what what does she need what does she need the vampire for we're trying to clear content we're not trying to get um high level world boss we're trying to clear content right like sure if we're making like the the high damage team for for world boss yeah maybe you get red vampire but i i don't know i would get a healer i'd go for ariel personally and selective summon because we're just looking at content am i wrong and we're just trying to clear like um trying to clear regular um raids trying to clear dungeons like she said she was a new player That's just that's just what I'm thinking personally as a new player. I like I don't feel like you can ever go wrong with Ariel. Huahi is also really good. I don't know. I would also recommend Huahi as your healer, but I'm not sure about the new player experience with Huahi. You know what I mean? Like I haven't been a new player in so long that I don't know if Huahi is really I know she's amazing now for late game players, people that are speed running, people that just want to clear dungeons fast. But like, is it enough healing? And she doesn't have cleanse, which Ariel does, right? So it's it's hard for me to recommend Huahi as a brand new player, but I feel like you can get away with it. So right now you have your damage, right? Tiana is nice. Um, she's helpful in a lot of things. Um, full strip is always nice, right? Full strip is always nice. Um, but Ariel is just a solid pick overall. He is like the epitome of a healer in this game, right? That is as far as healers go, he's your front line and he's your healer. Are you, what summoner are you? If you're Kina, if you're a Kina summoner, you could maybe get away with going Hwahi or you could go for maybe like Annabelle, or you could even go for like Wusa or something like that. I would agree, Blur. I would agree. I just don't know how, like, is it enough for... Yeah, because we all used Bastet back in the day, Blur, right? We all used Bastet for the attack up, but we also had a little bit of the sustain with the, ba the Bastet. What Farmer says what you need is that much healing for early game, though. I feel like in a lot of content, though, you can just like, as long as you can stay alive, you can clear anything, right? Because they give you enough time in dungeons and raids and bosses to like, and Galagos too, like there's enough time as long as you can stay healed. But you're right. No, Hwahi's great. Hwahi's great. You would not go wrong with either one. Well, okay. Yes. We're not talking about like super early game. Like, super early game, sure. Use Konamiya, use your, use all your three stars and four stars. Don't build five stars super early. Once you've completed all the story quests, once you've completed all the area, area quests, and once you're getting into, like, level 15 dungeons and then hard level dungeons, that's when you start looking at building your five stars. Does Theo have a place anymore? Theo Mars? Nah, not really. He did for a second, and then we all switched to Tessarion. But now we have Perna, and she has, and they have Perna. Why is it so damn hot? What is the temperature out right now? It's 81, my brother. This is this is wonderful. This is a crisp 81 degrees right now in sunny central Florida. But yeah, you can't really go wrong. I would say go for some form of healer, right? If you're Akina, you can go Wusa. If you're anybody else, you could go Wahi or Ariel and you'll be fine.
All right. Um, I need to go do my siege attacks here in just a second. Let me go use the restroom real quick, and then we will uh, we'll be right back. Uh, let's see. Let's get over to some CG siege. Um, what are we attacking? One point. One. Oh, they're they're finishing that off. Where's the other? Where's the rest of our attacks? Let's see. It. Let's see if he gets rid of ten point one. Oh, that is a tough. Scarlet's tough. Scarlet has like the best four stars in the game. I swear. Her four stars are so good. Da -da -da. <laughs> All right. I did this. I did the Fairy Queen event. Make sure you guys hit up your Fairy Queen event. Uh, make sure you guys are maxing out your, your tea party prep. Go use up all your energy on Kairos right now for the bingo event. Use up all your energy and use up crystals. I need to use up crystals too. Farmer, you need to go use your crystals. You have like 100k crystals. Hmm. Maybe I swap him out for some destroy runes instead of rage. Whatever you got. You you got more than 100k. What do you what are you at now? Uh, it looks like Sierra's going to try 2.1. Lid says why 10.3. Are we allowed to take this one? Wait, there's no way you have 350k crystals, bro. Absolutely no way. You need to go spam those crystals on the Kairos right now. Oh, we got to do this too. I'll, I'll wait for chat. To, I'll wait for our guild chat to tell me what's up.
How tell me how you blast in 350k crystals? I'd love to see that. Man's gonna blast 300. But bingo event is so good right now. You can stock up on Kairos. You don't have to use all your crystals. You can use like a quarter of them, and you'd still get so much value out of this bingo event. Stock up on Breath of Life and, and freaking crystals for days. You're basically getting a refund. Uh, place at least one water assassin. Who the hell is a water? Well, it's okay. Take advantage of this. Take advantage of this. Like, stock up, right? Take advantage of every bingo. Stock up on your, your essence and you'll never have problems with essence ever again. I'm always out of Breath of Life. Like, literally, I build one monster and all my Breath of Life is gone. I think I have, like, 20,000. Um... Assassin? Water assassin? Oh, yeah, this is a situation where I just have to throw something in. Y'all need to be building monsters, then. I don't know. Uh, before I started doing this bingo again, I did not have any essence. I guess I just build too many monsters, man. Anyone need perfect rune? Everyone. Well, of course you need perfect rune. But when it's here, Kairos event is here. I needed essence because I don't have any. Well, I do now. And so I built, I did Kairos. And I got all of my crystals back, plus tons of Breath of Life, which I always need because what do I do? It's a monster building game. Trial's not a problem. Not a problem to build too many monsters. You just got to have resources to do it. So we farm Kairos to get essence and Breath of Life. Uh, exclude fire. Place at least one wind assassin. Ethna, baby. Uh, where's all my healers? And exclude fire. Place at least... Oh, he's fire. Derp. I'm an idiot. Oh, look. I can just swap out Varad. He's basically the same thing. You got some secret breath of life from Essence? Yeah. The bingo event. Dude, I have stocked up on so much Breath of Life from this bingo event, it's not even funny. I'm stocked up on, on Essence now, ready to go to build like two monsters, okay? I got tons of rune pieces back, tons of um, bingo, the little monster pieces back, and then tons of Breath of Life, and then all my crystals come right back to me. Whatever crystals I use, they come right back, because it's part of the bingo event. Come on, Mr. Math. I'm just kidding. You guys have fun. Do, do it. Do. It's, a, it's a video game, guys. 50 Breath of Life from one repeat quest. Sure, but now you can get... I'm just like right now. Like right now because of the bingo event. Not like normally. Exactly. So when Pog bingo event starts, we'll go farm Pog. God, everyone's so butthurt about this right now. I needed essence, my brothers and sisters. I needed breath of life. And I needed rune pieces, actually, because I build too many runes. And so then I was like, oh, look, lucky bingo event gives me all the things I need. What? No way. Let's see. Uh, fire assassin monster. Who's a fire assassin monster? Oh, Karabit. Exclude water. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, that's what we normally do is gold repeats. Mm -hmm. 
Right, Charles? We're just always out of everything because we're just building too many monsters, evidently. I'm doing just fine. Absolutely not, Barcode. Absolutely not. We're not allowed to have individual experiences in this game. Gold repeat or trolling, yes. Or, if you're building a summoner, XP repeats aren't too bad, right? And can't you sell the XP pots in the Magitech now? Isn't that a thing? We can we can sell XP pots. Didn't you make a whole math thing about that? Or was it was it XP pots? I forget what it was we were selling. Uh, four star only. Uh, always this, always this, and always mm, that. Okay. Farmer approved XP pot. All right, so right now we've been building other summoners to 80. So uh, our gold has been pretty good. My my morning repeat squad. So we've been doing XPs just to get our summoners up higher. XPs. That's right. Everybody in the house all at once. It's Thanksgiving week, man. It's Thanksgiving. Everybody's home for Thanksgiving week. We all up in here. God, barcode. Trying to keep this a family experience. It's Thanksgiving. Dude, I would love to meet your kids, Barcode. I feel like they're going to be the funniest little kids. Like. <laughs> family. Family. <laughs> With you as a dad, I cannot imagine how funny your kids probably are. Too European to understand? That's okay. I was about to say you're European, so you don't really know what good food tastes like, but you're not that type of European. You're you're the actual type of European that makes good food. You're not the uh, oi in it in it disgusting. You're not that type. They don't have great food. Uh, light assassin and exclude dark monsters. What's your what's your food of choice? Mr. Farmer. But you could put them up for adoption for sure. You could make some money that way. My daughter's spitting goofy image of me, but we fight all the time. See, can't have two of the same, right? Oh, I can build. I can use her. Oh, that's right. Your son did some uh, some Valorant gaming, right? Charles Corn probably. <laughs> Sleepy Artist, thanks for subscribing, or not subscribing, following over on Twitch. By the way, guys, if you prefer Twitch, I am streaming on Twitch. You can go over and follow over there real quick. Kids equal allowed bots. <laughs> He's a farmer. He probably just eats corn. <laughs> oh, wait, exclude dark monsters. Uh... <laughs> Kids are bots? No. Kids are bots. <laughs> Family. Family. It has to be true. It has to be rice, right? Rice farmer hat? What's uh what's barcode cooking this week? I'm doing I'm doing my famous mashed potatoes and I'm doing the green bean casserole. The other rest of the family is doing their their mincemeat peaches. Um, oh, they're doing a, uh, a corn a corn casserole. Like a cornbread casserole.
No, no, barcode. Your son's a bot like they're free labor. Just like you install a bot on your computer. It's free labor. But they're allowed because we need kids. Because we have a, a, a declining birth rate. Sky, should you build Ethno or Zero 2? It's tough. Assassins are kind of tough right now because of moon gear. Uh, build one light, a dark assassin. Who the hell do I have as a dark assassin? Oh, wait, I got hell you. Yeah. Uh, place at least one light monster. It's gotta be, gotta be hurt or not. <laughs> a bot who half asses things. I love it. Uh, let's do light, get that bonus. Barcode says zero to 150%. Seal of approval. Family approved. Yeah, you got like different summer and spring festivals and stuff like that. I don't know. It's kind of a weird holiday for us. We just like celebrating taking people's land and stuff. But hey, it's 2023. We don't think about the meaning of holidays. We just eat and get presents. Uh oh, Tokra out here with the hot takes. Don't get canceled. Nah, Barco's too good looking to be Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel kind of ugly, honestly. Alright, we're almost done with this, and we can go do our siege attack. We'll call it a day. Hell yeah. You know what's really sad, though, as a new player? How do you get Shushu? How do you get Shushu? Like, Shushu carried me through this game. Early game. Uh, will dungeon tickets count towards Hall of Magic clears for bingo? Yes. Those dungeon tickets right there. Use them up. Use them up. Spend some energy. Spend some crystals. Stop hoarding. Farmers, the farmers smog from the Hobbit, just hoarding over his treasure of crystals. Um. Okay. Siege. Did they take it? They did not take it. Uh. Chris Daltrey, I could see it, bro. You you're you're dating yourself there, man. <laughs> I mean, I yeah. It's been a while since I've looked at Chris Daltrey. Uh, open link in the tab. There we go. Uh, open image in the tab. There's Chris Daltrey, boys. You guys can see. What do you think? Barcode better looking than Chris Daltry. <laughs> Just prepping for 35 LD dupes in a row. That's true. That is true. Uh, Magnum, my friend got Shushu playing a few days ago, but he doesn't want to play the game. No, man, you got Shushu. How do you not play the game with Shushu? Shushu is Giga Chad. Darn Shafron evidently is giving our boys trouble. Can we do it? Why are we showing bearded barcode on the screen? That's true. Barcode needs a massive Viking beard. So spend one month in repeat gold and then summon unknown scroll to get Shushu. <laughs> Uh, 
All right, I'm gonna try it. 2.1, R 2.1. I'm gonna go and embarrass myself in front of all my high level guild mates. Okay, so evidently Shafron is the problem. It's me. Hi, I'm the problem. It's me. Okay. Um, honestly, Michelle. What if we did? Hmm. So we need. Hold on. Four stars. Four stars. Four stars. We need to figure out probably this guy. Oh, you're in Heaven Blur. Yeah, we're in a. Uh, we went from Dior to United. United and Dior are kind of like sister or sister guilds now. Huh, humana, 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 humana. What about Chloe? Fire Cleave solo? Yeah, right. Bring Mara and one shot Shafron. Yeah, we got you have to think of the Shafron and the Bro, my boys in, in United just went up against this. It's not that easy. I I get it. I get it. But Mara, I think, is going to die before Shafron dies personally. Um, she needs probably that set. Yes, Scarlet is stonks, guys. I don't think you understand how good Scarlet's four star units are. She's the queen of four stars. Just her Lauren, I guarantee you her Lauren higher CP than most of y'all's five star units. So Shushu really isn't could do Shushu. He doesn't go through any invincibility, does he? And then I'm probably going to go light staff to continue the invincibility. Wait, why is her? Oh, no wonder her crit rate so low because this is Sharon's artifact. Sharon stuff. I can't. Ah, it's so dumb. I was like, hey, Archer, I could put her on Sharon's runes. Um, no, I can't do that. Masha runes. That's better. Uh, TGN Numa's top monster. Yeah, it's got to be as far as RGB goes, one of either Luis or uh, Ophelia. Good luck on defense. <laughs> we'll see. Darian Mara. My Darian's not built, man. Yeah, he's down here. He's just not built. I would take dark backlight against Saffron. Dark backlight? Excuse me? No, I know he is. I just uh I don't I never see him in siege. Oh, what's the Oh, sorry, top monster. Yes, I, I apologize. Uh that is Colleen. That's her little birdie costume. Backline. That's what I'm well, that's the thing. They're saying bring the Mara. If we can kill the Saffron with the Mara, then he doesn't revive. That's the idea, right? That's the plan. And if the plan doesn't work, then everything unravels. Or I could just go full tank and I could go. <laughs> yeah, I used Orbius, yeah. 
White Harg would be great for Mara. I'll build him eventually. I guess, yeah, Colleen would work 100% uh, here because they don't have unrecoverable. So that's Colleen's biggest, biggest thing is unrecoverable sucks. I think the invincibility should be enough here. Exactly. That's the goal is we got to pop Saffron immediately. I am on light staff. I got to land a blind and then I got to keep invincibility up. That's the goal. Um, hers is how much mana is this? Five mana. I may not get to it in time. And that's four mana. We'll have to make the decision mid fight. All right, boys, this is a tough one. This is Scarlet. She's a raid boss. What the hell? I. I, I get the Mara idea. We're, we're going to try it. I think it's a good plan and it makes sense. You want to go Purian instead of Shushu? <sighs> Maybe. No, I, I agree. I agree. It's going to be a longer fight. Tion's not bad either because he could revive. A Tion just so doo doo. All right, let's try this. Let's try it. Here we go, boys. No laughing in chat if we lose. Everybody, everybody else has lost to this defense too. So, okay. Get the unrecoverable on the shaft front. Oh, I didn't kill it. Oh, there goes Mara. Holy moly, man. This shaft front is nutty. Holy moly. Yep. They warned me. Did they not? Did they not warn me? Dude, nothing is dying. Holy moly. There is no damage happening right now. And it just ins- Ah, oh, wow. Michelle OP. Trying to kill the Michelle here, but I'm dying too, so. Just pulled a Gene. Congrats, man. You won the game. Gene's like one of the best monsters in the game right now. And there goes the Michelle. I mean, there goes my Chloe. So we lose. Holy moly. What a defense. I agree, Stingy. We need to replicate this defense. Holy moly. I think we just might have found our new uh, new defense. Colleen, Rakuni, Michelle, Shafron. I'd be interested to see how tanky that Shafron is. Yeah, maybe we do need our own reviver. I felt like I was getting somewhere. I was getting somewhere, even with the Shafron still on the field. But somebody in chat said the back line was a little risky, and I, I agree. Well, this is a new defense. We have not seen this defense before.
what I say. Grunt, is this you, Scarlet? No. Is that you, Scarlet? Yeah, I'd love to. I'd love to see. I feel like once we finally got to ult with Fire Cleave, it started to like shift the tides a little bit. Yeah, I did. We lasted quite a long time, Giggity. Full LD Cowgirls. I already used my Lauren, unfortunately. I'll probably just let somebody else handle that. Yeah, Nick's going to try it. Probably just let somebody else try to take it. That's a tough one, though. We're, we're definitely going to... We're taking notes over here. Might have to... Definitely build that one. It's a lot of monsters that we're not used to either. Uh, and, you know, Colleen we're used to, but the Michelle, the Saffron, really, really strong. Did they have the... Um... Yeah, they don't even have... Yeah, these are all, like, monsters that aren't part of our other meta defenses either. I, I gotta fight what I fight, or I gotta fight what I'm told. Uh, I have to go for the moment, but my shaft run is 4.5 defense. That's really good. And 70k HP. Well, that'll do it. Yeah, that is that is tanky for an assassin monster. Holy moly. I needed the invincibility. BW. Uh, how are you liking the bomber so far? I've only tried out Gianna because uh, I haven't built the other bombers. Uh, but so far, I haven't seen a ton. Gianna's been good. Gianna's definitely been good. For sure. Uh, I'll show you guys my Gianna for now. She's been solid, for sure. Um... Uh, yeah, everything was tanky. You saw once I finally got an ult on fire staff, I was starting to delete some stuff, but <laughs> built a Sierra worthless. <laughs> no video on that one. Dang. Uh, well, the problem is, is that there's only what water mermaid to cleanse bombs and fire little Garuda. Like there's nothing that legitimately cleanses bombs. The only thing is immunity. Just make sure you don't get the bombs in the first place, which is like why I like Gianna, because if it's just immunity, strip, and then bombs. No, don't they? No, don't they? No, 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 no. They explode. Bombs explode if you cleanse them. Do they not? I don't know. I had a couple that did a decent amount of damage. Water Marshall Cat. My guy coming in here with the crazy crazy. Hold on. We're wrapping up the stream here, boys. If you got any last minute questions, I got to head over to my mom's place. Barcode says Water Marshall Cat. Ignores damage mitigation effects. Increases skill cooldown. If target has three or more beneficial effects, use Energy Punch. Target has beneficial crit rate up. I mean, yeah, I guess. You'd have to Soul Link it.
Thoughts on Gene? Sorry, I went AFK. Oh, uh, Gene Street. Yeah, no, Gene is like, you won the game. Congrats. She's one of the best LDs in the game right now. Uh, Topher Smurf, is Heroic Jewelry still number one after new upgrades for old jewelry? Uh, heroic Jewelry, like, um, yeah, the hero sets. Hero sets are best. It's still up in the air whether the new sets are going to be better or not. But, like, you're kind of like shooting yourself in the foot if you don't go with a hero set. In my opinion. Uh, Root, the other set, the sunset was decent for a while, but then Jamire became a thing. So, uh, build a new set. Yeah, I'm just going to build a new set. I'm not going to get rid of Moonset. Moonset's too good, and we're basically done with it. So, I, I will never touch this. I mean, I'm going to try to switch out some of these stats for some slightly better ones, but I'm, not, I'm never touching this again. So, if I want a new set, I'm going to have to build a whole new set. But honestly, it's not too bad to do that nowadays. Because seal is a thing. Uh, we have like 13 days, Skyr. Like, check out some of these. Uh, I got some stats rating. Eh, that one's not too great. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's not bad. It's okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. That's five catalysts there. Uh, this one is three catalysts for a sub weapon. Um, this one is four catalysts. You can skip, at least you can skip three, season three. Oh, they already have season three out? You need to make a video, man. I need to see that. Look at this. Look at this, buggy. Mmm. Two catalysts needed. Two catalysts needed. This is what you do. Just keep farming, wait for good substats, and then just succeed those into your new mythic gear. Can you buy catalysts with money? Hell yeah. You know the whales bought those. Um, that was easily one of the highest value purchases in the shop. Uh, let's see. I don't know. I don't know where anything is in the shop. Did you make it a month ago? I must have missed that one. They did have for a while, they did have a pack that was refining Catalyst and Devilmon and stuff, and it was... It was probably bought out instantly. Hero Raid coin will be... No. Who said that? No. Farmer should know. Does Hero Raid coin go away? One is start with five mana. Other is damage from basic attacks when you have attack speed buff. Oh, yeah. Those, those are both gross. No, this is Raid coin shop. I think they're just going to add new ones, right, Farmer? Like, they're just going to add new pieces that you can buy. They're not going to, like, change the coin, right? It changes coin? That's so dumb. I mean, okay, I guess current coins are going into artifact shards completely. I wasn't sure what was going to happen, so I've kind of been hoarding my coins. I guess like 14 days or so, right? 13 days, two weeks. That's so dumb. You know, it's these little things that it's just like, that's how they keep you playing, though. You got to farm new things. Oh, I always buy these. There we go. That's so dumb. Yeah, like I already got the set, so it's like I farm enough hero to where I got plenty of stuff in storage. Like I've got all the things I need in storage. So I'll just spend it on artifact shards. But that change happened only in season three. Interesting. So at least the two new sets, I can still use coins if needed. Because I really don't want to farm 60 runs again just to complete a set. All right, guys, that's going to be it for me. 
Uh, do I have anything special I can give you guys before we go? Oh, look, I've got two LD scrolls. The Topher Luck incoming. Family. Family. All right, guys, two scrolls for you. Toe for luck incoming. God, can you imagine if that was purple? There you go. Four star. Easy. It wasn't marble. Marble's my last one that I need. Holofoss. La. All right. One more. Absolutely not. One day we'll get our last four star. Which is... Marble. Not nah, our nah, farmer. See, the luck comes to me. I, I, I summon wherever I damn well please. Luck comes to me. All right. Right here. Last four star needed is Battle Mammoth. And our boy Medical Scape got two of them. I mean, not that he's useful in any way, shape, or form, but. He is a monster that I do not have. So. All right, guys, it has been a pleasure to hang out on stream with you guys. I really enjoyed the time we've spent together. Family. Um, I will unlikely be streaming the rest of this week. Thursday is an American holiday for those of you on the North America server or those of you who are not a North America server. Thursday is all about family. So we will be eating lots of food and spending time with family on Thursday. Um, I might come back on Sunday. I'll probably do my, I've been playing through Witcher. So if you guys want to see me play something else, I've been playing through Witcher on Sunday. So, all right, guys, it has been fun. I had a great time. Um, go out there and build some monsters. Use your crystals, farmer. Stop hoarding like a dragon. And yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good rest of your week.